Good evening, race fans. Good evening, world. It's Marky B here, a.k.a. The Scruffy Toff, welcoming you along to Generation X Racing once again. Uh, this evening, it is Season 11, Race 2 of our Group 3 100-mile challenge. And uh, tonight was a mystery track until uh, everyone logged into the lobby. And as you can see, it's the absolutely god-awful Blue Moon Speedway infield A, or the track that looks slightly like a uh, pregnant seahorse which has fallen over onto its back uh this was chosen by macgyver uh so nice one matt <laughs> prepare for some feedback from everyone later i'm sure um so it was chosen by matt uh he won something or other last year it was the best sportsmanship award or something uh so congratulations on that and he gets to uh watch the uh, gets to pick this track for race two which uh I found it terrible in Group 4, so God knows what it's going to be like <laughs> in Group 3. But uh, anyway, uh, just running through the runners and riders this evening, we have Johnny Mackers in the Lamborghini. We have Merchilago in the Ford GT. We have MacGyver in the V12 Vantage Aston Martin. Willie Ham in the first of the Mustangs. Dan East in the second of the Mustangs. Devlin in the Supra. Sherlock in his beloved McLaren 650S. King Racer in the Porsche 911, Viney in the McLaren F1, Spivey in the Lexus, Welchy, who just about got into the lobby on time, uh, brandishing his A driver rating uh, in the Audi R8, Judicial, who's back after a bit of a uh, uh, a bit of a, a holiday from us. Uh, I think he had wheel problems and stuff. But Sergio, fantastic to see you back, mate. He's in the Ferrari this evening. Splatter in the second 911. And Kobayashi Maru in the Alfa Romeo. A 14 on the grid tonight. Fantastic. So, unfortunately, um, my usual cohort in comms, Spiffy G, uh, has had to reschedule his uh, shoulder PT stuff. So to help his recuperation. So uh, he said if he's back in time, he'll get on the stream and uh, start haranguing me as per usual. So uh, I hope that all went well, Spiffy. And uh, yeah, hope to hear from you soon. So let's get out to track. Qualifying is underway. And so far we've got Johnny Mackers in pole in the Lamborghini on a 107 which I think is probably the uh, it's the fastest time we've seen this evening because uh, there was it was very close between the top four and five in practice um, about 0.1 of a second I think between the top four uh, but everyone was in the 108s I believe so good stuff Johnny keep it up mate Due to the nature of the track, uh, the right tyres are going to get a bit of a hammering. So, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what strategies everyone deploys this evening. I'm assuming softs, mediums, then hards, but uh, we'll find out. Oh, okay, Johnny. Yeah, th th those, uh, there's some changes when you come off like the straight and then you go round the first corner and onto the banking. They're, they're not subtle. And uh, particularly the mid-engine cars seem to really be struggling with it and being thrown off. So um, we'll have to see how that uh, that pans out during the race. So we look at uh, MacGyver, the master of the mayhem this evening. He's picked this god-awful track in a front-engine car. his first hot lap. Okay, he's down on his time and potential penalty there. Yeah, okay, not gonna better his time. 
see how Merchilago is getting on in the GT. There's a lot of slow corners on this track, so su suspect. Might be a bit of a... Look, <laughs> coasting, coasting, coasting. Oh, he's given up. Okay. So Willie was faster to practice. Let's see hang on, if he can... Oh, he's on his outlap. We'll come back to him in a sec. Okay, Dan just going a bit wide through turn one there. Yeah, the front wheel uh, engined cars are having a much better time going on to the uh, banking there. These two air bins are really difficult to get right, particularly the uh, double apex hairpin which Dan's just been through just about avoids the wall hello Glava nice to see you aboard mate uh, chat is open although in a somewhat limited format um, so I see it appear at the bottom of my right hand side of my screen very briefly so I just caught that Robert uh, had joined so uh, if you want to uh, join in converse hurl abuse tell us how great we are whatever uh, that would be much appreciated. Okay, so Dan's back in sixth at the moment. He's currently leading the championship after race one with uh, Willie in second and Merchilago in third, I believe. Viney in the McLaren F1. Seems to be right up there this evening. Good stuff. And as if by magic, the commentator's curse kicks in. Beautiful stuff. Look at Sheila. Whoa, <laughs> okay. Well, she's just gone backwards into the barrier there. Obviously not his optimal lap. So we've got about four minutes of quality left. currently up on his best of 108.3 comes around the long left-hander into the start finish straight yeah okay so okay Sherlock is has he improved on that yeah 108 Why has he not jumped up a position there? Don't know. Or was that his outlap, potentially? He's up on his lap again. See if Viney's uh, straightened the front of his car out after uh, his interaction with the barrier. And he's into the pits. Beautiful timing. Dan's got a penalty. It's like a Devlin in the Supra. way down splatter in the Porsche seems to be sliding nicely and back into the pits as is Spivey the racer does not improve okay by Ashimaru could have it no he's a bit back on time at the moment apparently the alpha is absolutely epic on tire wear so that could be a big factor in tonight's race
And I should just mention that if my uh, focus wanders even more than usual this evening, it's because I'm watching uh, the first round of the US Masters Golf on my phone at the same time. Well, taking sneak peeks anyway. So, uh, yes, I, I promise I'll try not to miss anything important. <laughs> Okay, so Justin's down. Let's see how, see how well she is indicating to go right. Get your indicator on, Welchie. Okay, I think Judicial's given up, and who can blame him? So Merchelago is putting a couple of 107s now. Point three hundreds up. Is he gonna? Is he gonna sneak pole? It's gonna be close. No, he does not. But banging in three 107s at the end there. Good work. So Johnny Mackers is finished. Willie has finished, Sheerluck has finished, MacGyver's in the pits, Vidi's still going, can he improve on his 108 one? Six, seven, no, just outside, bad luck Vidi. Well, this is a first, <laughs> Dad's down in seventh, wow, but uh, yeah, I, I hate this track, it's, oh dear, great choice MacGyver, well done. <laughs> Uh, Devlin has finished, Splash is in the pits, Spivey's in the pits, King Racer has finished. Okay, so that's done. 14 on the grid tonight, excellent. So yes, I apologise uh, for all the flicking between um, cars. I'm uh, broadcasting direct from my PS5, not through uh, OBS, which is our streaming platform of choice. Um, because I had, I need to get Spiffy had to show me how to use it. So uh, when he's not about, I can uh, put all the usual overlays on and whatnot, and uh, yes, do the transition seamlessly like he does, rather than knobbing about with my controller. Okay, so we're just waiting for the time to run down so I can get a look at the grid. Notice that uh, Johnny Mackers has hazard lights like a Cylon Centurion's um, eye, whatever you want to call it, thing. Johnny Mackers. Great stuff. So I don't think there's any ill weather expected this evening, so it's racing softs, mediums and hards, a minimum stint of five laps, but I think <laughs> given the tire, tire degradation, they'll be doing more than that anyway. Uh, so our starting grid for this evening, we've got Johnny Mackers in the Lamborghini in first on a 107.2, Mercia Largo close behind in the Ford GT, a 107.3, Willie Ham in third in the Mustang, a 107.8, Sheerluck in fourth in the McLaren, 107.9. MacGyver in the Aston Martin V12 Vantage, 107.9. So that's four, five of the guys under 108. Great stuff. Viney in sixth in the McLaren F1, a 108.1. Dan in the second Mustang, a 108.2. Devlin in eighth in the Supra, Toyota Supra, a 108.6. Splatter in ninth in the first of the Porsches, a 108.7. Spivey in 10th in the Lexus, a 108.9. King Racer in 11th in the second of the 911s, a 109.1. Kobayashi Maru in 12th in the Alfa Romeo 4C, a 109.2. Welchie in 13th in the Audi R8, a 109.5. And Judicial uh, in 14th on a 110.4.
Good evening, Splatter. Good evening, Willie. Good evening, Johnny. <laughs> uh, Splatter just said he'll be swearing a lot. I think everyone will, to be honest, Rob. Uh, mostly, with most of it pointed in MacGyver's direction, I suspect. <laughs> For picking this bloody track. <laughs> 49 laps. I mean... I think that's potentially the most amount of laps we've ever done in a Group 3 uh, race, and by quite some distance. It's usually like uh, low 30s or uh, mid to high 20s, depending on the length of track, of course. But uh, yes, <laughs> in interesting choice. Bloody Canadians. Okay. The race will be starting shortly. <laughs> okay, Matt. Oh, good stuff. Okay. You guys are just lining up for the start. Eighty percent fuel on board. Oh, Johnny Mack has got a horrific start. So Merchelaga goes straight through the lead. Millie, Willie Ham goes up into second. Johnny Mack is all the way back in fifth. He's had an absolute shocker. Is everyone on? Okay. So if only he's on the hearts, okay. So Merchelaga is in the lead. We've got MacGyver in second. Johnny Mack. Oh no! Johnny Backers is off. McGuire is in second. Sheerluck is in third. Willie Ham is in fourth. Devlin in fifth. So Spivey started on the hards and is up to sixth already. Good work from Spivey. Welch is up into seventh. On the mediums. Johnny Mackers is on the soft, so he's going to want to get back through the field as soon as humanly possible. Judicial's up to ninth from 14th. Epic stuff. It's just gone past Dan, who's on the soft. Okay, by Eshimaru in 11th. I think that's up one place. Vidi, who started on the hards as well. Okay, brave call. Splatters in 13th and off, and King Racer is back in 14th on the mediums. So let's get back up front. So Merchelago seems to be pulling away quite quickly. I know that Ford is very quick in a straight line, but uh, doesn't necessarily love the corners. We'll just have to see how long his tyres last uh, going at full chat. Pulling away from the uh, chasing bunch nicely at the moment. And will no doubt stretch that coming down the start for this straight, which is fairly long. Uh, good evening to everyone watching. Yeah, it pulls it out to a nearly one and three quarter seconds. Nice stuff from Echelago. Driver with sheer luck for company and Willie Ham uh, in hot pursuit also. Right on board with Willie for a sec. Tell me just about as close to the wall as you would want to. The guy ever ducks over to break the toe.
Merchant Margate's put a 107. Oh no, Johnny Mac has just put a you know 1072 and is now back up to sixth. quite close together but no one's giving any quarter at the moment so let's have a quick nip back to see how Devlin's getting on with Johnny so jo Johnny's uh, making a massive comeback after his absolute horrific absolutely horrific start is he going to be able to take him who's got the top end down here I know the super is quick I'm not quite sure about the Lambo to be fair Fairly well matched. But Devlin's going to have the inside line. Jolly Mac has tried to cut back. Certainly gets a lower entrance into the banked bit of curve. Well, sloped really, it's not banked at all. Whoa! <laughs> back end of the Lambo is uh, kicking out as he passed Devlin there. Well held, Johnny. Great stuff. I suspect Johnny's going to have the bit between his teeth now. He's done five laps and there's a bit of wear on the softs. Not a huge amount though, so he should be good for 10 or 12 or so, I would have thought, at least. So as we were up front, let's see how Dan is getting on. Back in seventh. The 108, is he going to get into the 107s? Not quite, but very nearly. Good stuff, Dan. Uh, Welchy in eighth with uh, a bit of distance between Dan in front and uh, Kobayashi Maru behind. So Kobayashi Maru is leading something of a slipstream train down the straight. With Viney and Splatter in pretty close order. Yeah, those mid-engine cars are really struggling jumping up onto that sloped section of track. Is that splatter trying to make a move? Looks like it is. Whoa! Yes, he was. Missed his breaking point there, I think, and uh, nearly took, <laughs> took out by the Anko by Ishiburu in one foul swoop. But okay, he's got back on terms. He's got past Viney. Let's get on board with Splatter to see if he can uh, make a move down into turn one. He's got the toe. Whoa, hang on. What the hell? Well, I, mm, that looked a bit naughty from our illustrious team principal there. But uh, we'll have to look back at the replay. Has he let him go there? Is he listening? <laughs> Quite possibly. So splattered now up into ninth. Oh no, Kobe Ashimaru just lost it. Oh, bad luck, me. Okay, so let's just nip. 
do the rest of the track. So we've got Spivey running in 10th on, on the hard. So he's doing a great job on, on those, mate. Well done. Uh, King Racer with a half second penalty. And Viney now back in 12th. Uh, with Judicial, who's 27 back. And looks like he's had a few uh, incidents as he's got damage front and back at the moment. As Kobayashi Maru goes past. So Merchilago is now four and a half seconds ahead of Sheerluck, who's in second. Uh, Willie in third. Johnny's all the way back up to fourth after his horrific start. And MacGyver is in back. He's eight seconds off the lead, back in fifth, but three ahead of Dan. Or was three ahead of Dan. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Both of them getting out of shape as they go up onto the slope bit of the track there. Oh, no, he's gone off now. OK, no one in the front five or six. Okay, so just checking on the tyres, Merchidago is kind of through two thirds of his. Let's say the right hand side tyres are going to be wearing like Bilio on this very right handed track. And is already coming up behind a back marker. It's just a very short lap, so that's hardly surprising. Chilago seems to be almost driving quite sedately this evening. There's no... He says, <laughs> wait for something to happen now. But uh, no back-end kicking out. OK. And nearly five seconds ahead now. So we've got Willie up into second. He's just got past Sherlock. And then we've got two, three and four in very short order. Let's go on board with Sheila. So Willie's taking the defensive line there, trying to break the toe. Seems like a reasonable job. Johnny's into the pits already. So Sheila was briefly ahead. Sherlock is doing much better on the softs than both Willie and Merchalago. He looks like he's got tons left in them, so uh, this could be a master stroke from Sherlock. He can stay out on track a lot longer than the uh, guys ahead of him on the softs. Banging in those 108s, this could bode well. OK, so Virtual Lago has just gone past Kobayashi Maru in 13th. <laughs> Willie's going to have to stop. Virtual well, Lago's going to have to stop probably a couple of laps. Willie, potentially the next lap, he has no front right left at all, which is fairly crucial uh, when turning, uh, we're taking all these fast left-hand curves. Sorry, I might have said right-handed track earlier. It's not right-handed at all, it's left. So I'll go out to 5.4. MacGyver's still in fourth. So I think Dan must have pitted. MacGyver's on the mediums, so Kobe actually moves pulling over and let everyone go past.
little kiss on the wall from a guy for his came out at the second last bend there but that's easily done Schiller looks like he's just served a penalty or something or maybe not so Winnie Ham is into the pits Devlin up into fourth Splatter shortly be up into fifth I think quite sure where the uh, pit exit is. Yeah, okay. Splatters up into fifth. Uh, Welchie up into sixth. Jolly Mackers in seventh, now on the mediums. Uh, Woody down on the mediums. So these guys are running the strategy, I probably thought, given they had no time to practice real tired degradation so uh, yeah just going to run the mediums for as long as possible and Dan who's also on the mediums so they're all running the same strategy these guys Close racing for 10th, 11th, and 12th. Viney's uh, McLaren F1 sounding like a jar of angry hornets. And everyone else is really well spread out. That's a bit like more like it, Merchant Argo, kicking the back end out a bit. Now six and a half seconds ahead, seven seconds ahead. If I were a betting man, I would think he's going to go for a, probably another lap. Yep, there he goes. Got Welchie just coming out of the pits. Just gave him something to think about there. a spin or an altercation somewhere but I can't quite see for the track map where that is. So Sherlock's tyres are still looking pretty decent. He's six seconds back. Oh no, Welchie's just spun. Bad luck mate. Careful! Blimey, thank you ghosting. Someone facing the wrong way. That's judicial. Bad luck, mate. Virtual <laughs> goes going again. With no right tyres at all to speak of. I don't think I've ever seen that before, where both of the uh, tyres on one side of the car are completely bright red all red and he's a bit, a bit of uh, wall riding there due to understeer caused by not having any tyres. It's quite a bit a lap too far for Merchant Argo to be fair. So I'm assuming he's coming in this lap but sheer luck is not going to be because he's still got fuel and tyres left. Uh, MacGyver <laughs> I think the guy that might be watching, so he was flashing just to say, yeah, yeah, I'm on TV, Mum. Uh, Devlin doing a great job up in fourth, but is going to need new boots very shortly. Jody Mack is now in a battle with Splatter, who still hasn't stopped. Doing a great job on those softs. Uh, Willie in seventh, who has just stopped for mediums, as we know. Dan, likewise. Viney, still on the hards. So he's probably going to run these out, I imagine, until his fuel's gone. Uh, we're now with King Race Clubs, we've got Merchant Argo and Sheerlux in the pits. What? Well, that is a surprise. 
I honestly thought he had another couple of laps left in him there. King Racer, where are we? Okay, so we've got someone else just diving into the pits. And that is... Who's that in the pits? A splatter. Okay, and Devlin. Okay. So MacGyver is currently P1. And I, I guess is the only guy who's, uh, although he, he was, he was saying that he hasn't had any time to practice this week, so uh, I guess he won't be that nailed down in terms of tyre degradation, etc. So we've only got Johnny Mackers up in second. to be doing pretty decent laps on the mediums thus far just to put in a 108 only one second slower than his socks the four gt not pulling in as quickly as i thought down the uh, straight virtualago now out on mediums Another spinner, who's that? Who's that parked up on my left? Okay, so let's... So we've got Merchelago, so... Merchelago, I think just being passed by Willie Ham. Largo is basically having to take almost a straight on line onto the slope bit of the curve to stop the car. Uh, is that judicial? Looks like it. On the right, yeah, to stop the car flipping out. So, big advantage for the uh, front engine cars there. So, Dad is up into fifth. Getting towards halfway through his mediums already, and we have <laughs> 30 laps to go. <laughs> oh God, I don't think I've ever said that. Um, wow. Okay. Chilak, who surprised me when he when he pitted when he did, because uh, he looked like he still had lots of soft stuff. So, another yellow flag. So Devlin in a bit of no man's land in seventh. Spivey in eighth, who's still on his first stop. Yeah, I think Judicial's uh, parked up. Go by Ashamru, throws it up the inside. And MacGyver's finally into the pits on zero fuel. Well judged, my friend. A 
Blatter, yeah, kind of on his own at the moment. Got Viney and Welchie having a bit of a battle for 10th and 11th. Viney's going to have the inside line going into the double apex hairpin. Yeah, says, that's my line, Sunshine. Let's get on board with Welchie, see if there's any chance of an overtake down the start for the straight. Spivey is finally into the pits for his first stop. Good work, my friends. Okay, doesn't look like it. King Racer in 12th, who's a couple of seconds back. Uh, K. Wayashi Brew 13th, and Judicial, as we know, has parked up. So Johnny Mackers is slowly pulling away, banging in very consistent 108 as, <laughs> as he just posted 109. Willie Ham, again, he's posting very consistent 108s as well. So there's not really an awful lot between these two. But as we know, they were separated at birth, so uh, yeah, it's like Romulus and Remus battling it out there for the uh, for Rome, essentially. Okay, so Dan is now up into third. Merchant Argo really seems to be struggling on the mediums, but Dan by far has the worst tyre wear of the top three. They're all on mediums, all the same tyre. Not sure how much longer Dan is going to be able to go on these tyres. Maybe up to nearly, well, high 20s, I would think. But then he's going to be on the hards for the rest of the race. And uh, good luck with that in the Mustang. Let's just check. And Willie Ham is pulling in a bit on Johnny Mackers. But I've got to say, this is an absolutely unbelievable drive from Johnny so far, given the... I think he was back in 8th or 9th. He started in pole, was back in 8th or 9th, and now has fought his way back through to the leading. It's absolutely epic stuff. And I haven't driven the uh, Group 3 Lamborghini, so you can offer no comment on it at all. But it uh, seems to be reasonably quick. And his tyres are failing pretty well. So you'd expect him to be doing the least amount of laps on the softs, uh, sorry, the hards, of anyone in the top four, bar Merchadago maybe. Yeah, I think this really is a tyre wear is key in this race. And uh, as I said, I'm surprised Sherlock stopped when he did because uh, it looked from a layman's eye that uh, he had plenty of tyres left when he when he came in. So there we go. I guess we shall see. We'll get his views afterwards if he joins the chat. So there's only six seconds between the top five. Sherlock doing beautifully on tyres as well. Okay, Spivey. Just letting guys through. Who spun now? Everyone seems to be pointing in the right direction.
by with just letting the guys through. Johnny's managed to pull out nearly three second lead now over Willy Ham. Oh, dang on, what's happened there? Oh, God, Dan's gone up into second. Okay, well, something happened to Willy there, but a little bit. I'll have to check that back on the replay. Gets his tyre on the grass there. Massive spin. Round he goes. Drops back to fifth. After all that good work he did, and going climbing all the way back up to second, all, all the way to second because he hasn't been in second all evening. That was, uh, that was a shame, down Bad luck. Uh, who now has to get past Spivey again. Uh, MacGyver in sixth. Now out on his softs. So one of the only races on track deploying a slightly different strategy this evening. To these softs, mediums, hards. Like this is where the race is. Yeah, and King Racer falls out of the way. Who's done that? Oh, she looks. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, and Willie's got a three second penalty. And Merchant Largo. Judicial, if you're listening, mate, can you cancel the. Uh... If you finish, can you quit the race because I think these three, three guys just got three second penalties because there was a yellow because you parked on the side of the track. I can't think of any other reason why that would have happened. Oh god, look at this. <laughs> Absolute bloody nightmare. Oh dear. So the, the well, the, the Johnny will be applauding that, but I don't think uh, sheer luck, like Merchant Largo, and uh, where's Willie gone? Okay, looks like we've lost Willie Ham. I hope that was due to some sort of technical glitch. Oh dear. So we've got Johnny Backers, who now has a nearly nine-second lead. And he's not doing bad on his tyres. He might be wishing he put a bit more fuel in, to be fair, but... Um, Sherlock in second. Yeah, okay, I think Willie's just put, put in the chat that, yeah, I think judic judicial being parked up is creating an always constant yellow flag. Yeah, okay, mate. So Johnny Beckett goes on his merry way. You've got sheer luck, eight and a half seconds behind. We've got Merchant Largo, nearly two seconds behind him. And we've got MacGyver, who's just picked up a three second penalty, I assume, for the same reason that. Yeah, Judicial. Yeah, 
Yeah, Justin, I, don't, I know it's tricky if you probably listen. Can you boot judicial from the room? Because he's given everyone three second penalties, random people three second penalties when they go past him. Just about to get another one, I expect, as well. Okay, no, you maybe escaped it this time. Merchant Largo? Nope. Oh, this is mayhem. Ah, good evening, Spiffy. How's the shoulder, mate? We've had a bit of an issue. Um, judicial sort of parked up, and it keeps on giving people three second penalties for going past him. Uh, so, Johnny Mackers is into the pits rather unusually okay so Sherlock goes through into first with tons of tyres left this is looking good for Sherlock so far four seconds now ahead of Merchilago in second uh, MacGyver up in third on apparently one of his favourite tracks I can only imagine that's what he's called it <laughs> Okay, Spiffy, thank you for that. You don't have much luck with your uh, utilities out there, do you? Okay, MacGyver now just coming past Spivey, who's back in 10th. And we've got Devlin, who's up in 4th, having a great race this evening. Plenty of tyres of fuel left in the Supra. Johnny Mack is now out on the hards and fueled till the end, of course. Okay, yeah, judicial is now gone. So we shouldn't be getting any more unnecessarily three point penalties. You want to move into the uh, first world, mate? You know, I wasn't think. You know, well, there's going to be another live aid just to try and uh, dig San Antonio out of uh, out of this awful hole it seems to be in. Johnny Mackers has got the bit between his teeth. Now his hards have warmed up a bit. Desperately trying to get past Devlin. <laughs> That's true. Yes, I was forgetting that. Yeah, you are virtually a Mexico. So Johnny doing a great job on those hards at the moment. See what his first decent lap is out of the pits on hearts. One oh nine two. Now that I, I would suggest that's pretty bloody good. Uh, so yeah, Devlin in fifth, Splatter in sixth. Still plenty of fuel and tyres. Dan after his massive spin and is now pitted and out on the hearts for his final stint down in 7th. Viney up to 8th, still to stop again. Welchy, uh, I assume still to stop again. In ninth. Spivey in 10th. Uh, King Racer in 11th. Kobe Ashimaru, oh what a time to join him. Just gets it a bit... Uh, Yeah, I know, Spiffy. I've already been admonishing MacGyver for his choice of track. Um, and he, you know... Oh, Christ! What on earth? Okay, so Kobe Ashiguru's car is really playing up. And Sherlock goes through.
damage. Only rear damage at the moment, but uh, he had front and rear at the moment, which was uh, causing him all sorts of problems. And judicial finally in the pits. So Sherlock now four and a half seconds ahead of Mercia Largo. He's going to come down to which of these boys could drive fastest on the hards, because it looks like Chris has got quite a long way to go on the mediums. Merchilago slightly less so. Merchilago's tyres aren't very quiet as well. MacGyver's softs have almost gone, so he'll be pitting for the last time to go onto his hard very shortly. But it's clearly a track he quite enjoys up in third. Well, you'd hope it's why he picked this bloody flat track anyway. As I said, the pregnant seahorse that's fallen onto its back. Okay, Johnny, who's. Well, we'll jump up into third. So he's only 22 seconds behind. The lead and that would really mean something if I knew what the pit delta was I don't think it's very long on this track to be fair but this could be close and uh, as we know Johnny had an absolutely horrific start after qualifying it on pole went off the track facing the wrong way had an absolute nightmare fought his way back up to first um, so, yeah, we'll see how he gets on, but I'm thinking it's either Sherlock Merchilago or Johnny Mackers for the win this evening. No offence, MacGyver. He's driving a great race. if I could just put a quick uh, request out to the drivers this evening we will do the drivers interviews post race but uh, if we could keep them to one word answers because I'm missing the masters at the moment okay so the, like Merchant Argo's holding station but oh he's going to run out of fuel before he runs out of tyres by the look of it at this rate Sherlock's still going strong It's very hard on tyres, Spiffy. Yeah, the right hands of tyres have been going so quickly. Yeah, sheer luck, just pull it away. Have a look at the track map, see where we're racing. Uh, Jolly Mac is 17 behind, but we'll be going up at the second, I suspect. Devlin in fourth, putting in steady 110s at the moment on his worn mediums. We'll be stopping shortly though, as he has little fuel left. Guyver is fueled to the end by the look. Let's look at Swiffy. Merchelar goes in. So MacGyver is going to go up to fourth. Splatter will go up to fifth. Will Willie? No. Blimey, okay, so there's a quick stop from Merchilago there. So 
let's have a quick look at Devlin and see how... Oh, I doesn't tell you how long he's stopped. Oh, no, there we go. Okay, so the, the pit stop, pit delta doesn't look massive. So I think this is going to be very close between Sherlock and Johnny when Sherlock pits. He's not going to be taking on a ton of fuel because he won't need to, although it looks like he's going to have to stop for fuel before tyres. Oh, God, is he spiffy? That bloody idiot. Okay, thank you for that. Telling me that Bryson DeChambeau is un minus uh, seven under at the moment. One of the live golf traitors. Shouldn't be allowed to play, in my opinion, but uh, it's just my opinion. <laughs> You've taken your uh, traitor's purse. Now bugger off and swim in your money. OK, so is Sheila coming in now? Yep. OK, is this going to be close? Get on board, sorry, get on board with uh, Johnny Mackers. Because this, this could be very close. <laughs> That's good. Okay, Sherlock isn't even refueling yet, and he is now. Okay, Johnny Mackers goes through to first. Splatter is now into the pits for his last stop. So Sheerluck is now six seconds behind Johnny Mackers. Yeah, that's why I said Spiffy. <laughs> One word answers, please. But this has been a super impressive drive from Johnny today. Well, both Johnny and Sheer, like the, uh, the mid-engine cars seems to be doing very well on their tyres. And uh, both Johnny and Chris have managed them very well. And uh, as I say, after the start Johnny had, I didn't think he, there was any way he was going to be in this position. So, so well done all so far, but we've still got... Uh, We've still got eight laps after this one, folks. Viney's just unlapped himself by the look of it from Johnny. <laughs> Which he's perfectly entitled to do, of course. Which gives Johnny Mackers the added bonus of now having slipstream. Is he being blue flag now? Doesn't look like it. We pull a pull down the start finish straight by Viney. Stretching out his lead ever so slightly. So, eight laps to go. Sheer luck with no traffic or anyone bothering him, so he's able just to focus on his race. Chilago, who, uh, yeah. I say he's struggling a bit on the, the hards, but he's putting in 109, so he's not struggling that much.
down, battling away with MacGyver. So let's stick with this one for a bit. Seems to be the just about the closest race on track, bar yeah, a few, few a bit further back, which we'll hop to back to shortly. Pretty much going exactly the same speed coming down the start finish straight. <laughs> Give Mark the business. Nice. Well, whichever way this goes, it would appear, unless there's an absolute, if there's a meteor strikes or something, and takes out Johnny Mackers and Sherlock and Merchelago in one fell swoop, uh, the Golden Gonads have gone for this season for Mr. Down East. Still all in Group 4, sadly, for Willie at the moment. But <laughs> Well, we'll, we'll cook something up. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, I presented Dan with, uh, I think it was last season, or the season before, uh, Group 3 Championship, he won every uh, race in the season, so I'd made a joke about giving him some golden gonads, and... Uh, the sod only went and did it. So he's just gone wide there. So MacGyver's gone through into fourth. Uh, so I actually had to buy some gonads, rubber gonads, and paint them gold and send them to uh, Suffolk. I can't remember exactly where he lives now, but uh, yeah, so he has them dangling beneath his rig, I believe. But uh, it's only if you win every race of the season. Anyway, who we got racing back here? So we've got Devlin. Is that Devlin? Splatter. In sixth and seventh. King Racer desperately tried to unlap himself as Splatter missed his breaking point on that hairpin again. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, I have to ask Rob about that. Did he keep forgetting where he was? Devlin's going to pull away a bit down the... Oh, no, he's not. Splatter's pulling in. Epic work. OK, it's a great race in between these two. Both on hards. Although Splatter hasn't got a... I assume he's got enough to finish the race. Yeah, all right, Spivvy. Shut up. You get the, can you jump on and take over? <laughs> OK, I think Splatter must... Oh, no. You do something a bit naughty there and let him through. Whoa! Oh, no! No! Devlin and Splatter had a bit of coming together. Splatter's absolutely... T-boned the wall there. So, has severe damage at the front. Um, and I suspect we'll now be making do with 7th, as long as he can stay ahead of Viney. In the McLaren F1, Spivey in ninth. Another great drive from Spivey tonight since his return to the league. So all pleased to see up in ninth. King Racer tenth. Welchi in eleventh. Uh, Kboyashiru in twelfth. 
Good evening, Dolly boy. Hello. Thanks for joining me. So Johnny Mackers is pulling his lead out. Ten seconds now. With two laps to go after this one. Thanks, Biffy. Couldn't happen to a nicer guy. Ah. <laughs> Are we positioned on your trolley, Darlow boy? Well, it's Johnny Bass is getting faster. 108 on his hard tyres there. That is epic stuff. I, I assume the, the uh, fuel light blinking isn't causing him. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Um, I'm sure the fuel light blinking on his uh, Lamborghini isn't causing him any undue concern at the moment. He's certainly not letting up. He's going absolutely full tilt at the moment. Getting faster and faster. I don't know if this will be uh, Johnny Macca's first Group 3 win. I know he's won Group 4 before, but... Um... So, Sherlock, yeah, six ahead, six and a half ahead of Merchilago, who's four and a bit ahead of MacGyver, who's nearly two ahead of Dan, who's 33 ahead of Devlin, five ahead of Splatter, Splatter has Viney right up his clacker now, and Viney's thrown it into turn one. Is Splatter going to be able to get back on terms? Okay. Going to have the inside line, and Viney's got wide onto the grass as he held it. Wow! What a move from... <laughs> How the hell did you do that, Viney? Great work. So Splatter's got to hold on for a lap and a half now. Spivey at night. Okay, let's get back up to the top. As I'm, the laps are flying past so quickly. Um, even though there's been oh no, she <laughs> exit stage right. Um, flies through. Johnny Backers comes through. For what I can only describe is one of the one of the greatest comebacks since Lazarus. So that is absolutely amazing. He started in uh, he started in pole, was off the track, placed in the wrong way. Well done, mate. And sheer luck, great drive tonight, sunshine. Uh, well done. Well done, Chris. Merchilago coming through into third. Well done, Merchilago. Great first stint of the race there, mate. MacGyver in fourth. <laughs> Dan in fifth. Devlin. He's going to come through in a more than respectable sixth. ran his tyres brilliantly, he's hardly touched those hards at all, so fantastic stuff. The Cowboy Ashibaru in 12th, right behind him, who's going to desperately try to unlap himself before the, before the line. There he goes, is he going to get there? Probably not behind the Supra, or is he? Uh, Devlin in 6th. Uh, Viney in 7th, Splatter in 8th, ah, oh, Spivey 9th, King Racer 10th. Welchi in 11th, Kobe Ashimaru in 12th, and uh, Judicial, who, uh, yeah, I don't think he was having a great time, pulled over, caused absolute mayhem uh, <laughs> by sitting on the side of the track where the yellow flag is giving out um, three second penalties to everyone who's going past him. So, uh, yeah, so Willie Ham dropped out. Uh, which is a bit of a shame, but kind of understand where he was coming from. So, uh, bad luck, Willie. 
but congratulations. Congratulations? The hell does that mean? Congratulations to Johnny Backers, Sheerluck, and Merchinago on your podium finishes. And uh, to be honest, MacGyver, I'll let you have that. That wasn't as shit as I thought it was going to be, so uh, I wouldn't have raced it. <laughs> but uh, it, it brought up some pretty decent racing, so well done, mate, and congratulations on your fourth. So we'll just wait for uh, all this nonsense to finish, so I can uh, just run through the final standings and I'll go and chat to whoever's about, and then get back to watching the bloody golf. Right, so there's our final standings for this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got Johnny Mackers, who takes maximum points from this evening. Uh, he's in first, started on pole, and has the fastest lap of 107.2. So congratulations, Johnny. Well done. Uh, sheer luck in second. Great drive tonight, mate. Well done. A 108.2 as your fastest lap. Third, Merchilago in the Ford GT, a 107.5. MacGyver in fourth in the Aston Martin V12 Vantage, a 107.6. Dan East, I don't think I've ever said this before. Dan in fifth in the Mustang on a 107.9. Devlin in sixth in the Supra, a 108.6. Viney in the seventh, who, uh, a <laughs> bit of an up and down race to be honest, but we had a cracking drive from him this evening. Some great, uh, great entertainment there, especially with Splatter towards the end there and unlapping himself from Johnny Mackers, which was, uh, <laughs> which was nice. A 1081, uh, Splatter in eighth. Well done, Rob, a 1086 in the Porsche. Spivey in ninth, great finish from Spivey there in the Lexus, uh, a 1095. King Racer in 10th in the 911, a 1089. Wiltshire in 11th in the Audi R8, a 108. Three, Kobayashi Maru in the Alpha 4C, a 1093. Judicial, hmm, I think that's a DNF, frankly, um, in the Ferrari 458, a 1108. And Willie Ham was a DNF due to the issues I mentioned earlier. Right, so let's keep this snappy. I'm going <laughs> to join the guys on chat and get out of there as quickly as possible. Um, so <laughs> apologies, viewer, for that. Ah, so here we go. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Well, Johnny Mackers. The greatest comeback since Lazarus, frankly, after your start. I mean, you must be absolutely chuffed to nuts with that, mate. <laughs> I thought I, that's your first one, right? Yeah, I know, I know you've won in Group 4, but uh, oh, congratulations, mate. I mean, after that, you, you, you were brilliant in quali, and then that start, and oh, I was just like, oh, God. <laughs> but you absolutely nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I gotta admit um, um, that that thought of the line surprises me myself, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. I think you were facing yeah. the wrong way, span on everything. So, well, absolutely superb drive, mate. You must be you. You were really, really quick on the hards as well. Because I think you put a one oh eight in um, one of your last. Yeah, yeah, on the hards. Yeah, he, he was increasing the gap to me on the hard tyres quite a fair bit. Yeah, so fantastic, mate. You must be, uh, yeah, well done. Uh, would you like to say a few words to uh, the entire world on your victory this evening? With winner's speech? Maybe that's something else we should do. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to thank. <laughs> okay, mate, great. Well, you, you must be chuffed at that. I'm very pleased for you. That was absolutely superb driving, mate. Congratulations. 
<laughs> Good stuff. So, Sherlock. Good evening. Good evening. That was a cracking um, drive from you as well. Um, I tell that, that McLaren around those corners, I was, I was sure I was drifting it into some of the corners. It just felt like it was on rails. Every, every compound of tyre was right. just, it just was great. <laughs> when, I was, it looked like when you, when you stopped the first time, it looked like you had fuel and tyres left. So I was a bit confused. Yeah, uh, I don't think I have fuel left. Okay. Um, I didn't. Uh, sorry, no, I, did, I had tire, I had a little bit of tyre left on the softs, but I didn't want to risk it. Fair um, Just because, obviously, we didn't know what strategy we do, we were kind of playing with, so yeah, indeed. I just didn't want to risk... Um, yeah, I just didn't want to risk it, so I took it. Fair enough, fair enough. But uh, great drive, mate, and good second. Thank well you. Well done. Yeah, cheers. And Merchie Largo, that was a great first stint, mate. Absolutely flying on those softs, but then, uh, obviously, the hards weren't quite as good for you yeah pretty much summed up the race <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, um yeah a bit weird to read the soft stint felt amazing um but then on the mediums uh, during the race i had the feeling i was falling back with will with uh with, with dan coming coming through mm -hmm. and then obviously that uh, meeting with the three second penalties um yeah but yeah p3 p um it's it's better than expected. I mean, it's, um, I'm just glad that the panel didn't have any um, um, how do you say it um, effects on the last final positions. Yeah, but yeah, yeah it was was a good. Way. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was a bit unfortunate with the uh, judicial parking up like he did, but um, he finally made it to the pits. So I think everyone was getting caned by that penalty so uh, anyway well done in your third yeah, I mean I mean I mean it's 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 at least good um, um uh, good, the wrong word but that it, it just didn't affect me but it's definitely something we have to discuss to avoid it in the future yeah I think you just don't do that really isn't it it's just you know either quit or you know go to the pits or whatever but just don't, yeah, don't uh, back it up so either, either that or, or turn the the rule flex uh ruling um flag rules off the way it was okay. because maybe he was um his wheel died or something and he tried to get back into the race i mean true. we don't know really what happened yeah yeah true, true, but, true. but yeah it, it is what it is um i'm happy for johnny for his first win especially after the Nürburgring race where he was really unlucky with the weather and everything yeah indeed indeed and so say all of us thank you merchant Ogo. uh macgyver Good day, sir. Chooser of the track this evening. Everyone's favourite. Yes. Uh, Blue Moon. Everyone's thrilled. I think. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think it was a no great... No shit, uh, Johnny. <laughs> stir up, I had to stir up the leaderboard already, I guess. The goal, right? Right, wait. We, you... we finally got one without Dan on the top. Well, okay, uh, yeah, sorry, well, Dan. job done. <laughs> um, Big, lots of love. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, well, you... you you obviously like it, and you drove well tonight, so you must be quite pleased with that. Uh, yeah, I uh, I think it was a good race. I, I'm bummed that Willie backed out. I think that he would have been, you know, uh, that top uh, six battle was, I think, pretty fierce. It was. I think that, uh, unfortunately, yeah, that, you know, on strategy, I think we would have all ended up racing for podiums, the top six, near yep. the end there. And quite then possibly. with Will dropping out and the flag issues... Um, that all kind of fell apart. I got stuck behind blue flag that I couldn't pass because of the yellow flag for three or four laps. Um, okay. I probably lost about 10 seconds of race time right. on my softs too. Ah. Uh, so it was pretty tough that way. I got, I got, uh, I got the short end of that stick, but it, I mean, it, we did all suffer and it was a race and racing's racing and things happen and big thanks and congratulations to, uh, JJ for putting it on and tolerating uh, his a favorite track. Amen to that. <laughs> Amen to that. I, I think he was demonstrating the fact that it wasn't his favorite track this evening. Um, I think that was fairly clear. So, um, but... Yes. And congrats to Johnny and uh, Sherlock and Nikki. Great race, guys. Good stuff. Well, thank you. Thank you, MacGyver. And uh, I think this is the first, uh, first time I've ever waited this long to speak to Dan. Hello, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've, I've nearly fallen asleep. 
<laughs> now so, you know how we feel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, not not your favourite tonight. For, yeah, no, you know, I mean, no, you, I just, you, you you're getting back into it, and then there was an almighty spin at one point or something, which pretty yeah. much put pay to anything. So yeah, uh, I I just wasn't fast enough, and it it was like that right from the start. Um, I I haven't really done anything around that track but it didn't take a great deal to learn it i just i just couldn't do it i don't have i don't think i have the delicate touch that it requires to carry the speed through the slower corners i'm a bit more sort of sledgehammer um and um yeah just i was just sort of when i was going okay i was going okay but i'd often well, I, I clipped Johnny at the start. I'm so sorry about that, Johnny. I, I clipped your rear corner. I don't even know if you felt it, but I definitely did, which is why I, I slowed right. That was why you ended up in the fence. Um, and then I slowed right down and lost a load of places. But to be fair, I probably finished about where I should have done, I think, or possibly even higher. So it's just it's one of those horrible races for me and kind of glad it's over. Yes, I, I can imagine. I can imagine. And the second pair of golden gonads will have to wait another season. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> well, I've got one, haven't I? That's enough. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. Okay, well, well done, Dad. Uh, it's Cheers. Blasser. Good evening. You were having some right old ding dongs tonight, mate. I, that was uh, oh. really impressive. And uh, the, 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 Porsche, oh. well, the Porsche looks a bit slidey to start with. Well, that's just my um, genius driving technique, as you know, Mark. Um, uh, there was, uh, yeah, a bit of a nutritional race, that one. It's uh, Again, I've got to be on the, uh, the same camp as all those ones who don't particularly uh, like this track. But, you know, it gives some good racing. Um, I'm just watching back on the replay because I felt uh, some of my moves at the start were maybe a little bit on the aggressive side. But I was assuming that I was on the, hard, on the soft compound, and uh, I think it was Justin and Viney were on the hards, and I was having... Terrible trouble trying to get past them and actually just make use of the softs. Um, so yeah, it was all a bit, um, a bit touch and go there for those passes. I hope they were clean enough. You, um, did, you, did, yeah. seem, you did seem to have issues with your breaking point on one particular corner. Which, which one was that? Is that the double D <laughs> the first corner, whatever you call it? <laughs> the first, uh, yeah, the, it's up towards the uh, seahorse's neck. Um, so it's the it's the first it's the first it's the first sort of hairpin, you know. We yes. got two together. You got the first hairpin, and then you got the double apex sort of hairpin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. The, that one there, you, twice I think in a couple of laps, you came flying towards the camera. Uh, oh yes, uh, at quite yeah, an alarming yeah. rate. So, well, but that's easily yeah, done, uh, isn't it? It doesn't take much. I, I kept I kept on screwing up the last corner as well. I mean, how many times did I smash the buddy barrier? But I know I'm not alone on that front. It was uh, yeah, it's a terrible it's corner. A bit. And, but, uh, and I have to apologise for my first lap as well because I completely missed the breaking point for the second that fast left hander, um, and just went careering off into the wall. I think a few people end up following me. It was all a bit uh, all a bit messy. <laughs> Okay, mate, but uh, well, a decent finish. Was it seventh? Uh, so, seventh? Uh, yes, yep. I think Viney so, just caught me at the end, the bugger. So, uh, well, but, Viney was on. And, Viney was, I think he must have. He was, he was definitely on a softer compound than everyone else because he was absolutely flying. Oh, he, he finished flying. on softs. Yeah, yeah he, he was absolutely on softs, flying. So he, he was unlapping himself yeah. from Johnny, I think, at one point as well. So um, Yeah, I was desperately trying to uh, sort of you know, keep him behind me, but no good. And uh, yeah, well done to John for your uh, win tonight, mate. That was uh, cracking stuff. I'm not jealous at all or bitter. <laughs> and yeah oh, and so say all of us so uh, look thanks <laughs> thanks everyone for uh sticking around for the chat um congratulations to john for his first group three win uh for sheer luck for his second and Merchilago for the podium uh thank you all for watching this evening um if you do like what you see it's please do it's please it's do give us a like and subscribe to the channel if you are able uh it would mean the world to us and the visibility of our league um i haven't actually seen where we are next week but i'm desperate to get back to watching the golf so i'm going to leave it there this evening <laughs> thanks all and we'll see you at the next one Cheers, Mark. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye. See you, Mark. Cheers. Cheers, Mark. Bye, Cheers, guys. Bye. See you, guys.